Well, yeah, when she comes in. It's not that he dislikes you, dude. I think it's just he's yeah, got like, he a bit of a kiddie crush on yeah, you. Yeah, I know he does. Yeah, I know he does. I know that. I, he doesn't tell me to I know. I'm yeah. not like an idiot. He can't. He won't say so he's it. Been saying, he's been saying a lot of stuff about you, dude. He basically said, on the outside, dude, you and Steve have got massive fan clubs, massive fan bases. And he said to me, dude, listen to me, he said, 100% he will not be going on Friday. There's no way. He said it's impossible. Did he say that? He said it's impossible. And then he said, he said, 90% I won't be going. And he said the other 10% is split between him and Benny. And he said he thinks he'll go. That's what he said. And you're not going anywhere. We love you out there, dude. But he, Andy, Andy, he does annoy me a bit because he, he, get, he does get angry. I don't know why, but it is. I don't know if it's towards me or if it's towards the group. But I know, I know that he, he is funny with me, hmm. and he's funny with JJ as well. He hasn't at all told me he doesn't like you. No, I've got nothing against him. He hasn't, he hasn't said against. he hasn't said anything bad about you at all. He obviously likes you a lot. I've got nothing against the bloke. Yeah. I like him. I, I really do. And if Josie wasn't in the picture, I mean, he would probably get along a lot better. Hmm. But that's not. That's not my fault. Hmm. He came in at a time when. Me and Joe's are obviously very close, hmm. and in a way, I don't know if I deserve to be here because I think I think one Josie would have a better time if I wasn't here. To be honest with you, hmm. I think I'm distracting her from a lot of um, things that she could be doing. Hmm. Um, she does like Andrew. There's no doubt about that, hmm. and I feel as though I'm getting in the way of that. Hmm. Um, and I, I do feel bad. I don't know if she likes him like that. Hey. She doesn't like him in a fancy. No, 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 no. She doesn't like him like mm. that. No, there's no doubt about that. But like, um, like it just, um, I'm not, no, it feels, like, but, but like I feel as though like, like every time me and her are together, he walks out of the room. Like, mm. like it's obvious. Like, mm. I, like she doesn't pick up on it, but she's fucking. She's not. She's not a full dog. But mm. <laughs> mm. she doesn't pick up on a lot of shit. But. Mm. But, um, but yeah, it puts it puts me in an awkward position, do you know what I mean? Because I've got nothing against the bike. I, I know he hasn't had much, like, he hasn't had much time with bike girls and that, and mm. and I didn't either at his age. Mm. And I know what it's like to, um, and Josie being the way that she is, I understand that, um, like, I understand why he's taken a liking to her, obviously. He's, mm. She's like, 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 like he's, he's admitted that he hasn't had much attention off girls and he's, she's probably given him more attention than probably what most girls have in a long time, do you know what mm. I mean? And there's nothing wrong with mm. And obviously he's developed like a little crush on that and obviously like it's going to make him, um, it get hard for... Mm. To mm. I'll never stand in the way. But she, but she needs to know. Yeah. Can you just listen to David? Just listen to it. Oh, we were just um, we were just talking, and we were just talking, and he was talking about Andrew, and he said he was basically saying, you know, he doesn't think Andrew likes him, and I said, there's a reason for that, and basically I was just telling him that the reason is he's obviously got some like kitty crush on you, he really likes you and whatever, and he basically said that to me, and he's he's. He said to me today, I mean, please don't say this to him because, like, you know, he's a cool guy, I really like him. He said to me today that he'd, um, he'd gone in the diary room and said a few things because he was worried, he's worried about eviction, obviously he doesn't want to go. And he thinks he said a few things in the diary room regarding you, which would probably turn your fans, because he said you've got a huge fan base outside, your fans against him. Because he's obviously gone in there and he, and he said he really likes you and... You know, he wished it was an opportunity for you guys to sort of get closer or whatever, but obviously you're around, and he probably thinks that's going to turn then your your fans against him. That's why he's so worried that he's going to be going. It's one of these kiddie crushy things, you know what I mean? <laughs> he's a lovely guy. I love him, dude. He hasn't got nothing against you at all. I just think he feels a little bit awkward, you know what I mean? Because he's obviously got a silly thing for her. And you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. He needs to get back to specs. She's eight. Here's the one. He needs to get back to specs, so he was. Means he's going to get some glasses. Some spectacles. Why? She's just playing it down, isn't she? 
thinking, why does he like her? Catch you in the morning, Joe. Love you. Yeah, I know, man. Well, I, I, I don't want to leave her, man. I really don't. Hmm. You're not going anywhere, dude. I don't, don't want to leave her. I honestly don't. John, but it's would you, if I, you know, but they, but they, you I, got, I, you, I think, I think it's going to be better for everyone here if I do go on Friday. To be honest but, with you, but I'm it's not going to happen, dude. Whether whether it's going to happen or whether it's not, I don't, I don't. I'm, I'm, I'm. I feel as though like. I feel as though, I, as though I, I owe it to Josie in order for me to leave, do you know what I mean? Because... Why? She'd be devastated if you leave, dude. I don't think she'd get over it for weeks. I think she'd be gutted, absolutely gutted for weeks. She'd be wandering like a lost sheep. She loves you, dude. Really does. You, you are not going to be going anywhere. You trust me, don't you, dude? You really trust me. Yeah, I do, but I, I, I knew that they were, regardless of what the fan base. I got no problem with that whatsoever. No, you're not going I'm anyway. going to feel happy about going because I think that she'll be able to, she'll be able to do like what she wants. Like I, I feel that I'm dragging her down, dragging her into the position that she doesn't want to be in, and I think she's going to have a much better time if I'm not here. And yeah. I truly believe that. She's having a horrendous time. I think the first two weeks after you go, dude, she'd be fucking in a mess. Seriously. And uh, it wouldn't be good for her. She loves you, dude. She's fucking head over heels in love with you, man. She really is. You, I think, I think you mean so much to her. And if you weren't around, dude, I don't think, I don't know if she'd cope. Seriously, I wouldn't just say that to you. Dude, every time you go into bed, you got every camera, boom. Because the public, dude, are wondering if there's any romance going to come out of it. That's what they do. That's what the British public's like. You've got a massive fan base, as of jo as, as Josie as well. Dude, you're going to be right to the end. You're not going anywhere. Uh, that's, not, that's not just speculation. I thought that. The day when you beat the Seahorse and he was getting cheered outside and you stayed in and he went, dude, I knew something had shifted. And then I was thinking, man, you know, you want a favourites to win it. And then, he, when Andy came in, he's obviously got loose lips, he had a bit of wine last night and was talking to me. And he said, dude, on the outside, you've got a huge fan base. You and Steve-O are the main ones. He said to me. And he said to me, there's no way John, he says it's impossible for John to go. And he, he would know, dude, he's only just come in. He would know. feels awkward when me and Jason are in the room and I understand where he's coming from well and um but you'll get over it dude I mean it's just one of those things that kids have when I was his age I had crushes on all the women and stuff you know what it's like dude you know what I mean it's never going to be any substance in it it's not real it's just part of growing up, isn't it? You know? I, I don't even give a fuck anymore, Larry. Seriously. I did say it, so I don't even give a fuck. If, if the public gave me in, they gave me in. If they don't, they don't. I don't give a fucking rip. I never have. You've been doing really well, dude, the last couple of weeks. You've been doing really well. You know I mean, you haven't, you know, you haven't been blowing up. You seem to be having a good time. JJ's come in, we're having a laugh together. Yeah, just, just, certain, just certain things just fucking. Some of the stuff, dude, you can just lay down. Some of the stuff you won't yeah, yeah, get yeah, passionate just, about. Just fucking makes you think that people are fucking ungrateful. Ungrateful, do you know what I mean? Yeah. People start talking about fucking um, being ungrateful for being here for seven weeks when all those fucking poor people yeah, fucking sit out on launch night and fucking yeah. have to go home with their fucking yeah. bags packed and their fucking I, dude, and their fucking products labelled. Like, that's dude, I've gone in there so many times, and when I've been in there, I've thanked them for having me in here. Like, you know they, mean, they, I can't, I can't thank these guys enough. For and, and for people yeah. to turn around and, and give me that shit about fucking not appreciating the time that we've been here yeah. for seven weeks, they can go and get fucked as far as I'm concerned. Because that's Come fucked. On. That's Come fucked. Yeah. Like, look at how much it meant for Jay.